Hello, we're excited to get your eBay business up and running. This video walks you through some helpful tips and best practices for creating listings that sell. By the time you finish this video, you'll know how to create optimized listings to maximize conversion, take great photos to help your items stand out, and set the right price for your items for both you and your customers. You can list on the eBay website from your computer or on your smartphone via browser or the eBay app. Let's get started. Think of your listings as advertisements for your products. The best way to entice customers is to make those listings attractive, detailed and clear. This involves writing strong titles, adding item specifics and including accurate and compelling descriptions. We'll walk you through each of these important aspects of your listings. Your title is the first thing buyers see and gives them a quick snapshot of what you're selling. Having strong titles also helps your items place higher in search results, so it's important to get it right. Creating a strong title is easy. Simply state what your item is by including as many key details as you can, such as brand, model, color, style, and model number. Your title should not include punctuation marks, asterisks, or special characters, words in all caps, subjective descriptions like awesome, or words like wow or look that don't describe the item. Let's go back to our example and see what makes this title so strong. It includes all of the keywords relating to the item, brand, model, color, style, and model number, capitalizes only the keywords, and it has no special characters. As you create your listing, you'll be prompted to add a number of required and recommended item specifics. Item specifics are just as important as your title. They will vary depending on the item you're listing, but by filling in as many as you can, you will maximize your listing's visibility to buyers. As you add more item specifics, the lightning bolt feature will update to show how many more searches your listing will be exposed to. For example, watch the lightning bolt as we add an MPN. MPN is a unique product identifier, like a UPC or ISBN. Most manufactured items have these identifiers on their packaging. So if your item has one, be sure to add it. So remember, add as many item specifics as you can to enable more buyers to find your listing. Now let's talk about descriptions. The description section is where you can add more enticing, relevant details about your item. Descriptions should be concise. Use correct grammar, punctuation and spelling. Identify any issues with the item's condition and include special item details. Descriptions should not feature videos or active content. Include contact info or use links taking customers off eBay. Next up, photos. Photos are often what makes or breaks a sale. Here are some tips to make the most of this important part of your listing. Include multiple photos of the item with views from different angles. You can add up to 12 photos. Listings with three or more photos often sell faster. Show any item damage or flaws in the photos to reduce the risk of a return. Avoid using any special filters or edits that may obscure or skew the view of your item. You should also avoid using photos that have decorative elements, promotional text, or logos, accessories, or props that aren't sold with your item, images copied from the internet that you don't have permission to use, or watermarks which negatively impact your search ranking outside of eBay. Now that you know some photo do's and don'ts, here are some tips to make your photos look their best. Use a well-lit white background so your items stand out and look sharp. A white sheet, wall, or poster board can be used as the backdrop. It's especially important to use a white background in the title photo of your listing, which is the first photo. This will help your items show up in Google Shopping. The eBay app also has a background removal tool, which easily adds a white background to your photos. And finally, the size and quality of your photos is very important. Aim for images between 800 to 1400 pixels on the longest side. This reduces load time and enables the zoom feature on your listing. We do not recommend stretching a smaller image to fit the requirements, as it will make the image blurry. Now, let's move on to pricing. When it comes to pricing your item, you first need to choose how you want to sell it. You can choose auction or buy it now. With auctions, buyers compete for your item by bidding. 
Auctions are most commonly used for rare, limited edition or high-profile, high-demand items. Be sure to start the auction at a minimum price you are willing to accept and buyers can bid upwards from there. The other option is Buy It Now, which is much more commonly used. With Buy It Now listings, you set a fixed price for your item. You can also choose to accept a best offer, which means a buyer can make an offer for your item that you can accept, decline or counter. Buy It Now listings are auto-renewed every 30 days until sold or cancelled. It's important to set a price that's both fair for you and attractive to your buyer. Here are some ways eBay can help you determine the right price eBay store subscribers have access to a powerful tool called TerraPeak, which provides pricing guidance for your items. Another option is doing a sold item search on eBay. Enter your item in eBay's search box, scroll down to Show Only on the left-hand menu of search options and select Sold Items. This will show you the recent pricing history of your item. In the eBay app, you can use the image search tool. Just click on the camera icon in the search bar, take a picture of your item, and you'll automatically see all current matching listings. And finally, you can do a general web search to see how the item is priced outside of eBay. We're almost finished. Let's talk about shipping costs and how they relate to your item price. We recommend that you list items with free shipping because customers prefer the simplicity of an all-inclusive price. We understand this isn't possible for certain items, so choose what's right for your business. To offer free shipping and not hurt your bottom line, factor the shipping cost into your final listing price. If you don't offer free shipping, keep the shipping cost in mind when pricing your item, as customers may be less willing to pay a higher price if they also have to pay for shipping. And that's it. As you list, you'll be guided by eBay recommendations and tools along the way. And here's a recap of some top tips to keep in mind. Use keywords in your title that customers will search for. Add relevant details in your item specifics and description. Include multiple good quality images. Offer free shipping. Research your item's market value and factor shipping into the final price. You're ready to get started. Head to ebay.com.au forward slash sell and start listing today.